Hi everyone, welcome again to another watch review. Today we have a very recent purchase I picked up a couple weeks ago here in Tokyo. This is the Oris Diver 65 in blue, um, affectionately known as the Duval Blue, um, evoking some memories of uh, certain beaches in France. Um, it's a really nice blue and uh, really helps make this watch stand out uh, in any collection. So the Aura 65 itself has gotten quite a bit of a uh, decent press on the uh, the internet these days, um, ever since its its debut um, last year in black um, with the rubber and tropic straps. It has been a popular choice for people looking for a, a, a nice quality vintage piece without spending too much money. Um, I've been watching it myself and uh, you know just waiting to pull the trigger on it. And uh, when this was available on the steel bracelet with the blue. Uh, the time was right for me, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. So um, let's hopefully get a better focus here. Um, the watch itself, again, as I said, is, is the blue dial. Um, the black dial itself is also, you know, quite a lovely piece. Um, but uh, for me, I wanted something different. Um, I have, you know, tons and tons of black dial diver watches. So the blue, this particular shade of blue, um, along with the, the vintage type uh, greenish yellow shade to the numerals and loom, um, really made it stand out. Um, as I mentioned, the, this watch has been reviewed a few times, so I won't go into the, the, the details and, uh, and uh, you know, be repetitive, but um, it is a very nice piece uh, because of its size. Um, it's very, very different uh, than a lot of the watches that are available today. It does do a very good job of evoking its predecessor, although it is slightly larger at about 39 millimeters by 12.9 um, in thickness. Uh, it is still a very, uh, you know, I would call it a svelte. Um, a manageable piece to wear. Um, it's fairly lightweight, although it doesn't feel, um, you know, chintzy lightweight. It just feels lightweight as in, you know, comfortable lightweight on the arm. You can wear it all day, um, several days in a row, and never really uh, pay much attention to it except when you want to. Um, the bracelet itself is, is a 20 millimeter bracelet with the, uh, um, actually it's kind of a faux rivet uh, system, but that doesn't bother me because it's very well done. Um, this bracelet does taper from 20 down to about 14 here, um, along with the very nice the, uh, signed Oris buckle. Uh, materials throughout, very high quality, very, very well finished. There's really not a rough edge anywhere in this case uh, or the bracelet. Um, the polishing and brushing is done just right, in my opinion. You know, most of the surface, when you look at the watch this way, is brushed, uh, whereas on the sides it is polished. Um, very subtle, very well done in my opinion. Um, again, it is a thin case, as you can see on the side here, so it does sit well on the arm. Uh, you know, that's, that's a welcome change from some other watches. Um, like for example, right now I have my, my trusty Seiko Sumo on, and probably that's not going to focus because of the distance, but you know, it's, it's a very different kind of watch. It's very, very uh, thick and substantial where this is uh, more light and carefree. Uh, different styles uh, for different days. Um, that's why we collect watches, right, everybody? <laughs> you know, that's why I have far too many watches myself, to be honest. <laughs> um, but back to the watch itself. Um, it, it is a lovely watch. Um, and at the price it's available, um, I picked this up here in, in Japan for probably about a little less than $1,300 US um, delivered um, with sales tax, which, uh, you know, it's not, not too bad at all, I think, for the kind of quality watch you've got. Um, as you've seen in my other videos, I do have another Oris Aquas, so I'm familiar with Oris quality and, and quite a fan of what you get for the money. Um, I was actually eyeing another Aquas along with this, but, uh, you know, just, just the fact that this is so different and unlike anything else in my collection was really what made me want to um, um, go ahead and, and, and actually buy it. I had also really, really wanted one, um, as I mentioned earlier, the stainless steel bracelet. Um, that is a fairly recent addition to the line. Um, so the stainless plus the blue um, really is what tipped me over the edge. Um, the great quality price. Um, timekeeping, I'm not sure yet because honestly I never wear my watches long enough to see how much they slip in seconds per day. Um, I do use um, you know time apps on my phone once in a while when I'm really curious. but. Uh, I have enough trust in Oris and their accuracy from my experience with the Aquas not, not to be really concerned about it. And uh, to be frank, you know, 
If you really worry about accuracy, you wear a quartz or a G-Shock or something. You wear a mechanical watch um, for its functionality, um, the, the, the craftsmanship in actually making something that is always moving, there's always in motion inside even though you don't see it, uh, the precision of the parts. So it's, you know, timekeeping of course is important, but you know, a couple seconds per day doesn't really bother me either way. It's more about, um, you know, the watch itself, you know, looking down at my wrist during the day and, and checking out uh, how it looks, uh, how it feels. Um, you know how I can change my mood depending upon the uh, the appearance and the feel of the watch on on that particular day with whatever whatever I'm wearing or whatever I'm doing. Um, that said, this watch does work very well in the office. I think um, personally, I, I, I work in a finance firm, which has these days a fairly um, casual dress code. But uh, you know th that said, I, I I don't feel comfortable wearing huge bulky watches in the office or, or extremely colorful watches. Although I have one, my, my Oris with orange strap, that's kind of like a Friday watch for me to, to kind of lighten things up a little bit. Um, but this one, you know, is, is really comfortable in the arm. Um, when it gets uh, cold again and I go back to long sleeve, I'm sure it'll fit under a, a dress, a dress uh, sleeve without any problem whatsoever. Um, so the watch itself, um, again, as I said, um, about 39.5 to 40 millimeters, depending where you measure it along the, along the bezel. Uh, 12.9 in thickness, and uh, let's see, what, how big is the, uh, let's take a look at that crown. Um, the crown itself is about, let's see, oh, sorry, shaky hands, um, 6.9, so about 7 mil on the, on the crown, um, which is a traditional size for um, old, old divers without, without ticket ones without, without crown guards. Um, everything for me on, on this watch, size-wise, proportion-wise, you know, it just it really works. Uh, that, that kind of makes sense considering it's an older design that was you know around so there's plenty of time for it to, to mature and look at it again and see if anything needed to be changed and, and obviously nothing needed to be changed um, it's pretty much uh, uh, great the way it is um, for anybody um, hesitating on, on this watch I would recommend just go ahead and, uh, and pull the trigger if you got the funds um, it's a really great watch it's very very enjoyable uh, the blue and gray dial is, is, a, is a welcome splash of color without being garish um, has a nice um, nautical theme to it. You know, it's a dive watch, of course, so it's nautical, but you know, I always like blues, um, and, and different blues are always welcome. Uh, the bezel itself, um, as other people have probably mentioned in reviews, is, is a very nice, um, solid clicking bezel. It's got a really nice feel to it. Um, I would say it really doesn't have, you know, hardly any black back play. Almost all of them have a little bit if you wiggle it, you know, on almost any watch, but uh, nothing significant on this one. It is, um, I believe, uh, PVD coated black, so I'm not going to worry too much about uh, if it scratches. I, I expect it won't, and even if it does, I mean, it's got a kind of vintage feel about it, so that probably can be excusable as opposed to something really, really um, shiny and, 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 and more modern and current looking, which you want to tend to keep it that way. So, all in all, um, Oris Diver 65 in blue on the steel bracelet. Great watch, great watch for the money. Um, very unique look. Uh, you know, something that you could you could add to almost any collection, regardless of how many dive watches you have. Um, that is, of course, if you like to collect watches, as some of us do. Uh, you know, really great piece for the money. As always, Oris quality very high, style very good, uh, really unique. Um, great watch for the money and. If you're looking for one, I wouldn't hesitate picking it up and adding it to your collection. Thank you for watching. More to come soon. Thanks.